people for some ideas on videos of what they'd like to see and a bit of feedback was that they'd like to see a day in the life or what I get up to during the day as a personal trainer so today I'm going to take you through my day everything that I get up to everything that I eat um, and I hope it's interesting for you so it is currently 4 57 in the morning I my first clients at 6 a.m this morning so I like to go up but this time, well, get up this time anyway, every single day. Just get get me up, get me awake, get me ready to uh, take on the day. I find that I'm most productive in the morning as well, so I'll take advantage of this time. So first up, what I do, I take my morning supplements. So I've got some vitamin D, daily vitamins, one of these vitamin C tablets. This one's just the one from Aldi. I really like this raspberry flavour. And then I'll add in five grams of just regular creatine. I am now an affiliate with my protein, so I've got a link and a discount code down below. I've also put up a blog post detailing why I take these supplements and whether you need them or not. So go check that out if you're interested. You may also have noticed some of this apple cider vinegar. So I've seen on a few blogs, etc., that it can help with digestion. So I'm just been taking like a little shot every single day just to see if it's making any difference. And I've also got a coffee in my really cool coffee mug which I'll add yeah these toffee flavour drops from my protein so I find that by planning my day out I get so much more done so I have one of these I don't know if you can see, it's called a passion planner. I got it from America and I'd seen loads of other YouTubers using it. I'll just show you a snippet of, snip of the day. So it's really good to have your day at the top and then you have the focus and then it has these hour, it's all the way down the side so you can plan out your day. So today in green, these are my clients. So I've got six today, so I've got three this morning, three tonight. I've been finding that if I schedule my workout, actually happens and I have a much better workout so there's my workouts all scheduled in for the week and then what I'm just going to do now is just fill in these gaps with what else I've got to do for the rest of the day and I find that I get so much more productive when I actually do fill this in and fill it in properly so I normally just take a, like five ten minutes just first thing in the morning I'll put some concentration music on on Spotify and yeah and I'll just um, fill in this with what I have to achieve today <laughs> so i'm also using this time just to do client plans as well so everybody that i had in yesterday i'm just going to update all their plans just for the next time that i see them or have ones that i need to send out for them to do on their own i find it a bit too early to eat breakfast at this time because it is still only half five but what i will do or have been doing recently is just having one of these chocolate rice cakes from Morrison's. So they are 53 calories. So I normally find one of these will just tide me over till when I can get a proper breakfast after my client mid morning. Okay, so it is now five to six and I'm off to the gym for my first client. Becky, I am coming for you. Okay, so I'm now at that gym. I am in the studio. So this is where I like to train most of my clients. It's at Fashionable Fitness Gym in Scarborough. with my morning clients so I've just been in the downstairs studio I've just recorded a couple of videos a couple of abs workouts for you all to do so stay tuned for those um, it is now time for me to go to Morrison's I've got to go pick up a couple of bits for food today I swear I spent half my life and half of my money in Morrison's it is also definitely not weather for the white trainers it is now breakfast time. I got a little bit weird making my soup, as you can see there. So I've just done a curried parsnip soup. 
I'll also be writing up and sharing the recipe on my blog at some point. So, breakfast. We have got what I have most days if I'm at home. It's just like a veggie scramble with some peppers, spinach, courgette and some mushroom. I've got some chopped ham, fresh salsa and some reduced sugar and salt ketchup. In the toaster I have a bagel slim toasting and then I'm going to also have one of these cherry bakewell twinings green teas which is my favourite flavour at the moment. I usually watch some sort of YouTube video when I'm eating my breakfast so today I think we will go for some Amanda Bucci. In my soup, so I'm now just trying to take some pretty photos of it ready for my blog and Instagram, social media, etc. Also, I would never eat a bowl of soup just sat on the floor looking out the window to the garden. And away. I have just finished editing my curried carrot and parsnip soup, so head to my website at abbydurantpt.com if you haven't yet seen it. If you haven't been to my website, there's absolutely loads of stuff on there. So we've got recipes for apple crumble, we have recipes for waffles, a Christmas gift guide. I'm going to edit the abs video that I filmed this morning, so that shouldn't take me too long. And then hopefully, well actually I need to go to the bank and then I'm going to train myself. So. It is now 12.20 and I have just got changed for the gym, but first I do need to go into town. But I have just mixed up my pre-workout of choice or my current favourite pre-workout. You don't need pre-workout at all, but I'm just feeling a little bit tired today. So I've gone for one scoop of this PE Science Alpha Me in the raspberry lemonade flavour. And also a scoop of this high volume, also from PES. This is a non-stimulant, so you can stack them together. It is such a good flavour. You can also mix it with the white monsters, and yeah, that's a that's also one of my favourite um, mixtures. And then I've just got one of these rice crispy square bars, which I'll either eat on the way to the gym or at the gym. Whenever I am driving, I use it as a time to listen to a podcast or to an audio book. So currently I am listening to one of my favourite podcasts, which is Food for Fitness with Scott Bapti. And on this episode, it's got Clean Eating Alice, which is one of my favourite social media fitspos or whatever. So really enjoying this and I would highly recommend you check them out. So I have just pulled up to the gym. It is now literally just gone one o'clock. So I've got an upper body session today. I've been sipping on my pre-workout, still feeling a bit tired, so I'm hoping it's going to kick in as soon as I get inside. I think it's the weather, it just puts me in such a bad mood. So yeah, right, positive pants on, let's go have a good upper body session. I'll just do a little outfit of the day for you. So I've got on this Lululemon hoodie, which is so nice and snuggly. It's got a nice long back, so it covers your bum. Then I've also got Lululemon leggings on with this cool print down the side, which I absolutely love. And then I've got my Nike Flyknit free racer things on in red. So, yep. And then I'm not even sure if I'll end up taking this jumper off, but if I do, I've got a vest from Forever 21 and sports bra from Forever 21 as well. So, right, let's get warmed up. I don't know. One more set of overhead press left to do. The weight went up this week, so I'm up to doing 27 and a half kilos, five sets of five. The first set was pretty hard, so I've added in a bit of a knee jerk just to get the weight up, get used to the feel of the weight above my head, and then I'll gradually take that jerk out and go more back to a strict overhead press, hopefully over the next couple of weeks. Feeling good, getting arm strength back and stuff, so I have had 30 above my head before so I'm just working back to that so I've got one more set to go next up is close grip row I think so upper body day so I've got shoulders back arms bit of core bit of chest so yeah all around <laughs> I 
finish up at the gym. It's 20 past two. Pretty good session in the end, actually. Really enjoyed it. Um, got a couple of big lifts in. Increased everything from last week, which is what you're always trying to grow, trying to do. Progressive overload is key to growth. So now, time to get home, get some lunch, and get a shower before my evening clients at half past four. So even though I've been complaining about how cold it is, all day and miserable i'm still having a my usual massive salad for lunch simply because it keeps me full i enjoy it it's really really tasty so what i have got is under there i've got loads of shredded lettuce some spinach tomato cucumber hummus coleslaw homemade coleslaw that i've made myself some raspberries a little bit of barbecue sauce this is my favorite salad dressing at the moment so chipotle ranch from walden farms which i get from muscle food I'll also top it with a little bit of this spicy mustard, which is my favourite, and probably a bit of this buffalo sauce. So I just need to chop up some chicken, which I've just had in the oven, just with some spices on. So I cook all my chicken in bulk, and that way I have some in the fridge ready to go. It lasts for about three days normally, so I'll just chop up about 100 grams of that and pop it on my salad. Whilst I'm eating, I am just going to watch a module from my personal training course, or my further personal training course. So I'm part of the SBS Academy. I'm on the third module, which is delivered by Dr. Mike Sordos, and it's all about strength training and strength training and programming for powerlifters. So this is today's entertainment. So I've just learnt something which I kind of already knew but I feel like it's quite important to tell you guys. So this chart here is talking about when you do aerobic training, so basically cardio at the same time as strength training. So this chart here we've got hypertrophy. This is when you just do strength training by itself. This is when you just do endurance training by itself and this is when you do them both together. So you can clearly show that if you just do strength training by itself, then hypertrophy is greater than when you do them both the same. But what is interesting is over here we have body fat. So this is showing that if you want to increase body fat losses, then by doing both strength and endurance training together is better than either or by themselves. It's now 24, so I'm just gonna have one quick snack just before I head back to work for, oh God, this is really loud. Um, a quick snack before I head back for my evening clients at half past four. So I'm going to have a bag of this Sunbites whole grain popcorn. So I'm loving this at the moment. It is only 59 calories per pack. It is 1.4 grams of fat and only 9.4 grams of carbs, so loving that. And then I'm gonna make up a mocha using some of this Galaxy Light hot chocolate and my current favorite, or one of my current favorite coffees, this vanilla flavor from Beanies and a little bit of unsweetened almond milk. It's now half past four and I am back at the gym for my evening clients and I have got Lauren over here who's my first one of the night and then I've got two more later on to finish up my evening. eight o'clock and the first thing I do when I get in from the gym is put my pajamas on. I've got a portion of the carrot and parsnip soup which I made earlier on which is delicious and then I've literally just got in this bowl chicken, broccoli, rice, spinach and a tiny little bit of salsa. I'm gonna go and watch Australian MasterChef now as that is basically the only TV show that I watch and I love it so I'll see you when I make mine. Last meal of the day is some um, fromage fray mixed with some whey protein. It, this one is the Stracciatella flavor from My Protein, basically just vanilla with chocolate bits in. There is under there some sugar-free jelly, strawberries, raspberries, blueberries, and then I've got a little bit of the leftover apple crumble and raspberry that I made at the weekend. And then also I'm gonna have a square of this salted butterscotch chocolate, which is amazing and it is in my opinion definitely better than the lint chocolate so get yourself to morrison's and get yourself some of this if you can restrain yourself from eating it all 
Um, I don't really know how to round off these. So anything else you want to see, let me know and I'll do my best to film it. So I will see you soon. Bye.